everybody in here sitting out here on the porch got my coffee over there and it's kind of cloudy today but that's okay it's starting to warm up so I'm just gonna be continuing to pick up some trash um, I've got to do some stuff inside the the coop because um, the water that I have hanging in there is not working I think it's leaking because I fill it up at night and it's completely gone and I don't think those chickens are eating or drinking all that water so I gotta figure out another solution for that um i want to check the plants i don't think anything's growing but uh i'm gonna check them anyhow and just uh you know see what else the day brings the fedex guy just came and check this out oh my goodness look at this now i know i had some of these on my wish list so i'm thinking that somebody ordered these off my wish list they're fence posts i think there's I don't know, I think there's 12 of them. They're very heavy, very heavy. I cannot lift the packs of them myself. I'm gonna have to take them out and put them up by the tiny house. Um, there's no note that I can find in here. I have no idea who sent these, but it's kind of weird because, okay, so I got the bolt cutters, all right? So I've got these fence posts and I really need these fence posts because I need to, to build a, uh, you know, a yard for my dogs so that they can be safe um especially well right now with papa he needs to not be gallivanting around too much but look at this you guys somebody sent me fence posts oh my gosh oh my goodness look at all these fence posts huh <sighs> i think there's 12 of them in there and um i don't know i don't know if it's from the same person that sent the the bolt cutters but whoever you are, thank you. <laughs> this is gonna bring me one step closer to being able to build a yard for my dogs. And I don't even know where I'm gonna put it yet. I do know that I want it to be around the tiny house, you know, somehow, and maybe come out this way a little bit. Um, and then maybe go out this way a little bit. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna start planning. I'm, I get to start planning this you know, it seemed like it was so far off in the distance to for me to be able to get, you know, get this going for the dogs. But I think it's going to happen, and I think it's going to happen pretty soon. Um, you know what I could do? I could use that chicken wire that Doreen sent me. It's three feet tall, and really I need for these dogs, especially Judy, because she can jump. Well, Papa can jump, too. He can jump up over this fencing here, all right? So, and I think that's four feet. So I could double up the chicken wire, you know, and make it like six feet almost, maybe five feet. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah, at least I get to start planning it though. Oh my goodness, the UPS guy just pulled up and look at this, fencing. I'm pretty sure this is what I had on my Amazon wish list. 60 inch times 50 feet. Fence posts. Chickens are excited too. I, I tried to see if there was a note. There is no note. I have no idea who these came from. But you guys, the dog yard is on. I'm going to be able to build this dog yard. I have no idea who sent this. So please, I mean, if you want, if you want me to know, send me an email to Life at protonmail.com. If not, you know what? Just thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be able to start building this fence. I'm going to need some help. I think Mr. Lucas might help me though. Oh. What are you crazy chickens doing? You're just scratching around. It's almost time to go to bed. It's almost night, night time. Beautiful chickens. What is going on with these chickens? What's the matter? Is somebody laying an egg or what? What's the matter, Romeo? It's okay, chickens. Come on. Come on home. Here, chick, 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 chick. 
That's normally a distress call. I think they're okay though. Romeo is on high alert. Look at him. He's an amazing rooster. Yeah, I called him over. They're all going to go back in the yard. Good chickens. Come on, chicha chicks. Into the yard for safety. Romeo, you are a heck of a rooster. Keeping you girls safe. That's right. Come on, Coco. Go on in. That's my babies. It's only about 4.30 p.m. And they're already all back in the yard. I don't know if there was a dog out there or some kind of predator or whatever. But Romeo was sounding the alarm. So he sent them all back in. And so now I got to get them some nummies to keep them in the yard. I think some Grub Terra Black Soldier Fly Larva will be good. Look at them. They all know what's coming. Oh, yes. They know exactly where to go. They love these things. It gives them plenty of protein. And they need it because a couple of them are still molting, which surprises me because they're still all laying eggs every single day. And look at Romeo. He tells them where the good stuff is. He won't eat until the hens eat first. He's a good rooster. Yep, there's the leghorns over there. I threw some out over there. I tell you guys, I just love these chickens so much. They're so beautiful. Especially Romeo. Oh my goodness. That's right. There's plenty. <laughs> I love them. It's been an awesome day. I went over and spent some time talking to Mr. Lucas. And I, yes, Budweiser was the um, beverage of the day. I had three Budweiser's. Oh my gosh. So I'm just relaxing on my porch watching my chickens. And they're scratching around. Romeo has been getting at a few of the chickens. And he always does it. He does it first thing in the morning. And then lastly, before they all go up into the coop at night. They don't seem to like it much. But, you know, it's a part of life. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking of getting an incubator from Tractor Supply Company. Because I've got those gift certificates. And I may be able to pull it off. It just depends on how expensive they are. But I also need to do some research on... You know, these hens are still pretty young, so although I know their eggs are fertilized because Romeo has been getting at them right and left, you know, are their eggs going to be viable? Will it be worth my time getting an incubator and trying to hatch them out with them being as young as they are? I mean, they're several months old, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's doable, but we'll just have to wait and see. I've talked to Mr. Lucas across the street, and he says that he will let me hook up an incubator in his shed that has electricity so that it won't drain my solar. So, I don't know. We may be able to do it. Who knows? In fact, Mr. Lucas is out there right now mowing his lawn. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he just has to be out there doing something all the time. You know, this guy... He's like 80 years old, okay? He's had, you know, heart bypass surgeries, a couple of them. He's had a couple of strokes. He's on blood thinners. He, he's got all this stuff going on with him, but he still gets out there. He, he does stuff. So that's an inspiration for me. You know, he inspires me to just keep going. You know, a lot of people think that, well, because of whatever they've got going on, their disabilities or whatever it is, they, 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 they can't do anything. But Mr. Lucas is proof positive that even though you've ha had health problems, you can still get out there and you can still do stuff. So that's, that's going to be kind of the way that I'm going to live my life. 
actually, I think he's out there um, mulching the leaves. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But anyhow, so I had three beers when I was over there, and that's kind of like my limit. So I think I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the day, the rest of the night. It's like 5 p.m. now. Um, and see ya, you know, see you in the next video. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.